Welcome to Informatica videos. My name is Faraz. Today I'm gonna talk about how to replicate DDL changes in IDR. So the agenda for this video is uh, we have two operations create table and add column. Today we'll see how we can replicate these two operations from source to the target through IDR. So let's start with the very first operation create table. So let's move to the IDR console and uh, connect it so I already have one config but uh, I'm gonna start with a new config we may also use the existed config so let's give a name say one say ok so here I'm gonna take Oracle as my source database connect I'm also taking Oracle as my target database. Mm, connect. Okay, so now source and target are connected. And so here in map tables tab, we have one option DDL capture. So this prompt is for schema replication. Click on new. So we have two things here source schema and target schema. So in my case, my source schema is. MFSRC and target schema is MFDGT. So basically, this uh, uh, prompt what it does is it maps the source schema and the target schema. Apart from this, we have two more options create table and drop table. So to replicate the DDL from source to the target, we need to check this create table option. Save and close it so now what uh, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this config so this prompt asks for idea recovery say yes okay so now let's move to the source schema so my source schema is MFSRC let's create a new table say the name is table 01 column 1 let's take it number let's have one more column column 2 mm, let it be back at 2 say ok so here uh, I have created a table 0 1 with two columns column 1 of number data type and column 2 of where cat 2 so now let's move to the idea console again and so I'm gonna replicate this table to the target so I need to start the extractor first so here with the extractor extractor is running in batch mode we may also run it in continuous mode so it's successful close it so now I'm gonna start the applier running success so here you can see uh, this applied one DDL changes so close it so from the IDR console itself we may check if the table is applicated or not so this says the configuration is outdated do you want to update it say yes so now the configuration is updated and uh, you may see here in map tables column that table 0 1 is replicated at target and also it is automatically mapped so now let's let's verify it at target schema also so my target schema is mftgt so here tables let's refresh it yes here you can see table 0 1 is created with two columns column one of number data type and column two of wildcard two so that's how we can replicate uh, this ddl from source to the target so my other operation uh, is add column so let's start this operation so let's save this config so we have two tabs map tables and map columns so in map columns uh, we have different options add column drop column alter column so for uh, replicating add column I need to check this option so in my case it is automatically checked 
so you need to check this option for replicating add column from source to the target so let's save the config let's uh, move to the source schema and uh, add one column to the table so here add column let's give it a name column 3 have it of integer type apply okay so here you can see column 3 is added in the table 0 1 so let's move to the idea console to replicate this added column to the target so here my add column is already checked so what I need to do is to run the extractor so it's running and here it is successful close it and now let's run the applier so here you can again see applied 1ddl changes and you can also check this query it says the column has been added at column 3 of number data type close let's check it at console itself so you can see here column 3 has been added to the target so now let's verify also at target database so my table is table 0 1 so here you can see column 3 is added to the table so that's how the add column can be replicated from the source to the target so that's all for this video uh, for any feedbacks we would like to hear from you you may mail us from support videos at the rate of informatica.com or else twitter.com slash infosupport thank you